uh, a nice big round of applause, Wayne Goodman. Hello. Can't think about that. Hello. Enjoying the show so far? Hello. How you doing? What's your name? Sally, how are you doing, Sally? Um, my name's Wayne. I'm from the New Market. Nice to see you all. Uh, I'm gonna, I want to show you some of my own tricks and my own effects and things that I do. I, I would love to come out here. Old sponsored walks going. How's it going? Right? Uh, I would love to come out here and be one of those magicians that finishes off with a fan of cards and a yeah, and everyone stands up and clapping and screaming. Um, look at me. I'm not that kind of magician. So I'm going to show you some of the tricks that I do and some of my favourite effects. And uh, to start off with, Sally, we're going to do something very, very simple. Uh, and I'm going to start off with one of the tricks that we all learn when we start doing magic. When we get into magic is one of the first tricks we learn. So please bear with me on this because I promise you I'm going to try and do it a bit different for you. But it's a, it's a classic with a handkerchief and a hand. And you poke the handkerchief into the hand and normally at this point I would say to you the hanky is going to disappear. I'm going to try and do something a little bit different than that though. And Sally, I'm going to give you a choice of colours. Would you choose a colour from purple, red, green or blue? Purple. What? Purple. Okay. And if I'd have chosen you, sir, with the skin coloured uh, hair, what would you have gone for? Yellow. Yellow, yeah, it should have gone down there. Okay, purple's good, purple's good. Um, I can do that, just give me a second, because I need to find the... Uh, okay, watch this, video camera's going, no, 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 it'll work, it'll work. Check this out, watch this. All I'm going to do is sprinkle it with a little bit of dust, and hopefully... Oh, yeah, no, we don't want that. Uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to see that there. Magic is all about misdirection, and the misdirection happens at the least moment when you don't expect it. And that's why inside my hand now, I am holding the purple. Thank you very much. So, uh, so I'm a little bit nervous about being up here and seeing you all out there and, and uh, waking you all up a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> oh, hello. And uh, I wanted to do something that my little girl, I have a little girl, and uh, who here has got children? Anyone got children? A few of you, okay. You all know what I'm talking about. I love it when my little girl comes and gets into bed with me in the morning and she snuggles up right close to me and her little toes are really cold and she puts her head on my shoulder and I love you, Daddy. Oh, she's 19, it's a bit weird, but, you know. <laughs> I, I enjoy it when she has sleepovers. And um, <laughs> Now, my little girl's six, it's a weird name, but I like it. And she wanted to... Uh, I actually have three children, two of them adopted. I can't get rid of the last one, but I, uh, she sent me this. I'm very proud of it. I like it. Do you like that? Oh, world's greatest dad. Isn't that nice? Semi-finalist. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I need to get somebody else up here. This gentleman sat down here. What's your name, sir? Yeah, I haven't got a wonky eye, mate. I was looking right at you. Well, isn't it? Isn't it? Give Nick a big round of applause. He comes and joins Sally. Come on up. We're going to give this a try. Derek said to me, Derek phoned me up, he said, Wayne, do you want to do the competition? I said, I'll have a go. He said, if you want to do well, Wayne, if you want to do well, oh, that'll be, that will be funny if that happens. Um, he said, Wayne, if you want to do well, you've got forward thinking, forward thinking, get ahead. So I did. Right. I knew that I wouldn't get a laugh. I thought I would do it anyway. <laughs> I was actually going to get my own face put on there, but then I'd be getting ahead of myself. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, um, I'm going to show you this. Um, let's have a look here. Would you give the cards a little shuffle for me, please? It doesn't have to be excellent or brilliant. Uh, just a little mix-up would be perfect. Where are you from, Sally? Oh, very nice, very nice. Is that your boyfriend? Yeah, when you're a man friend, you come... Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the idea. We're going to give them a little shuffle here as well. And we're going to have two cards selected. I'll have two cards selected. Um, Nick, all the cards are different? Yep. They are on this side, anyway. Just going to go through until I find... Okay. <laughs> Uh, all I want to do is just take a card, and uh, it doesn't matter if I see the card because I've seen the trick before, but show it to everybody in the audience, okay? Uh, so just reach forward and you just take out any card they like. Have you got one there? Yeah. And then onto the face of the card, place the card here on the toe. You can show it to everyone. Yeah, that's perfect. And uh, it's a red card, seven. It's, okay, um, would you write your name on there for me, please? That's been it. While we're doing this, uh, Nick, I would like you to do a favour as well. I'd like you to choose a card. However, I don't want you, you're not going to take the card out, you're just going to look at the card. And I'm going to show it to everybody in the audience as well. So as I do this, just say stop. stop. Okay, sure, have a look at that card there. Everyone got that? Yeah, see it over the back there? Good, okay. And um, put your card there for me, Sally. That wasn't a move, by the way, I did look at the card. We're going to lose the card into the pack like so, and I'm going I'm to get rid of that. And I'm going to try and find the two cards. Now, your card is quite easy. It has your name on it. Your card doesn't have the name on it. So it'll be a slightly more tricky. We'll come back to that. Uh, I've got this card here. Okay, I know this isn't your card because it doesn't have a name on it. 
and I'm, I know it's not your card because I saw your card as the eight and this is the ten. What I'd like you to do, Nick, is tap that with the pen. And as you tap it, in a nice clear voice or one matching your own, just say change. Okay, so hold on to that there and just tap it right in the middle and say change. change. And when you do that, it changes to Sally's card with her name right across the face. Thank you very much. That's only half the applause I was expecting, but we'll work on that. Uh, Sally, could you hold on to that there for me, please? I'm going to get rid of the rest of the pack. Just lean it across the table for me. And Nick, all I'd like you to do is just tap the card. Now, what was your card? The eight of diamonds. Tap it again and say change. Change. Bit more oomph in it. Go for it. Change. All right, easy. <laughs> no, one more time. Go for it. Change. Did you see it change? No. Seriously? No. Do it one more time. Change. Did you see it change? No. Where were you looking? Come on. Yeah, no, that's Sally's card. I did explain that. It has her name on it. I was talking about the pen. If you just take the lid off for me, please. And if I just take hold of it here, I can open it up and show you the pen has now become your card, the eight of diamonds. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sally, um, could I borrow, I see you've got a ring on there. Does that come off? Can I, can I take that? Can I get it back? Maybe. Come off quite easy, that, didn't it? <laughs> uh, where are you from, Nick? Ipswich. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> it's a nice place to go. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> what is Philly Casey? Uh, I want everyone to focus here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Oh, look at me. I'm fat. Um, <laughs> I am fat. I, I don't deny that. I rock myself to sleep getting up in the morning. But, you know, not like that guy over there, skinny mini. Look at him. Look at him with the hair. Stand up. Say it to Adam. Stand up. Look at him. Three more belly buttons. You'd make a good flute. Okay. So... <laughs> Don't take your eyes off the ring. Check this out. Okay, watch this. I'm going to take my hand and take the ring. I'm going to cover it just for a second. When I blow on the hand like that, the ring completely disappears, just like so. Thank you very much. <laughs> Flies through the air faster than you can see, which is why you didn't see it, and ends up back on your finger. That would have been good, though, wouldn't it? Okay, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, actually, the ring does vanish. It flies through the air. Uh, I actually collect rings. I have a collection of rings with me today. I'm going to show them to now. I keep them over here. These are my... I like them, I like them. This is a, this is a mood ring. This is a, my girlfriend has a mood ring. Yeah, when she's uh, happy, it's blue. When she's not happy, it leaves a red mark. On, okay, and... Uh, <laughs> Do you know what, I reckon you could pull that, no, okay, fair enough. I, I, my, my favourite is actually my newest acquisition, which is this one right here. And right here in the middle, I have a little tiny ring, which if I unclip it, if I can get it off the clip, there we go. And you may keep that as a souvenir, and everyone's going to give you a thunderous round of applause. <laughs> Just, do you know what, it's a great, a great honour to be asked to come up here and entertain everybody. And, and being up here means I'm not out there. Um, so I am missing one thing that I would like to do. Does anyone have a camera phone on them? Does anyone have a camera phone? They could just take a quick picture. Could you? Could you what's your name, my love? Catherine. Can I call you Catherine? You look very pretty. You look great in 3D. That's my room number. Okay, stand up for me, Catherine. <laughs> uh, could, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I need this wood. Thank you. That's my uh, competition Facebook post. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? <laughs> oh, I thought it was funny anyway. Um, let me have a look here. I've got one more trick to do for you. I've got one more trick to do to you. And this is one of my favourite tricks and one that I really, really like to perform. And um, as magicians, hopefully you'll understand there is a trick deck you can buy and, and I won't say any more than that, but uh, this isn't a trick day, obviously, but I, I want to do something that's reminiscent of that, like a camera trick without a camera trick, is, is my, my idea. Uh, and so what I'd like you to do is just to choose a card. Uh, it's very important that I don't see the card. So I'd like to show it to everybody, make sure that I don't see the card personally. So I'm just going to go through like this, just take one out, anyone you like? That one there, nice classic. And now show that to, uh, show that to everybody. <sighs> And it wasn't. I'm not that good. Uh, yeah, show it to everybody. I'll turn my back. Okay. <laughs> I didn't look on purpose. I didn't. Sally, just say stop for me. I put the card there for me. That's beautiful. Uh, normally, I would give the cards a big shuffle. I'm only going to do a little shuffle today. And normally, Sally, at this point, I would say to you, how many chances, how many attempts are you going to give me to find your card? I'm not going to do that either. I'm going to give myself three chances. And I'm going to try and deduct... From the three choices, which one is your card? Okay, uh, actually, that one, that one, and that one will do perfectly. I have three cards here. In a few seconds, I'm going to show you the cards, Sally. When I show you the cards, 
please don't uh, make any reaction to them, okay? So I've got the Jack of Spades, the Jack of Hearts, and the Ten of Spades. Now, it, honestly now, you can tell the truth, is one of those cards your card? Okay, now I did a little psychological thing there. When I was saying to Sally, don't tell me which card it was, I deliberately left this card on show. And you made no reaction, even before I said, don't make a reaction. And you didn't. So I don't think you chose the Ten. I think you went for the Jack of Spades or the Jack of Hearts. Is that as correct? Say so yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Tough crowd. Okay, then. 52 cards down to two. And I, okay, fair enough. We'll go for it. If I tell you now which card you chose, that will just be a 50-50 chance. And some people might say, you know, he is a good-looking bloke, but that was... Okay, so you're going to tell me which card you chose, and I'm going to prove that I knew it. So which card did you choose? And I knew that. <laughs> No trust anymore, is there? No, I did know that because do you remember the Jack of Spades? Because that's also now the Jack of Hearts. And do you remember the Ten of Spades that you had? Because that's now the Jack of Hearts. In fact, every single card has now become the Jack of Hearts. Every single card. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, oh. madam. The second place, Wayne Goodman. <laughs> <laughs>